Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 5th of 2022, well, it is titled Interstellar Comet 2i Borisov. So what do we see here? Well, this is a comet and what we would call an interstellar comet and in fact the first one to have been detected. Now we can study the orbit to find out where a comet comes from. And we find that most comets come from one of two places. And one of those is the nearer comets and what we call short period comets come from the Kuiper belt, which is out beyond Neptune and is a relatively flat donut shaped uh, material set of material that will then sometimes be disturbed and bring comet Terry nuclei into the inner solar system. Longer period comets come from the Oort cloud, which is a large spherical cloud surrounding our solar system. And those give us very long period comets, those with periods of over 200 years or so. But this comet is moving even faster and is zipping through at over 100,000 miles per hour. And tracing back its orbit, we can then find that it must have come from outside of our solar system. So an interstellar traveler from some other solar system someplace in the Milky Way. Now, how would a comet get out into the Milky Way and eventually make its way toward our solar system? Well, comets that happen to pass too close to another object in the solar system, such as a large planet or such as Jupiter or the sun, can then have their orbits deviated and can be given enough energy to have achieved escape velocity from the solar system, meaning that they will travel back outward never to return again. And of course, then interstellar space could be filled with these comets. There could be lots and lots of them out there. And with many millions and billions of them, the odds are eventually that sometimes one will pass through a nearby another solar system such as ours. So it could have been expelled from from some place many billions of years ago and just been traveling through space until it happened to come close to our solar system. And here we see it was discovered in 2019 and we see some images of it from November of 2019 on the left uh, where it happened to be passing very close to a galaxy. And you can see the galaxy just to the left of the comet and then again to the right. So it came uh, very cl came close to us, although not very close. What we'd call about uh, two astronomical units from Earth in December of 2019. So we could get some estimates of its size, but not very good detail. Even these Hubble Space Telescope images trying to see something at that great distance can bring up very little detail other than about an estimate that it's a very small object less than a kilometer in size. So we can then study again objects now coming from outside of our solar system when they happen to pass close to our solar system and actually in this case enter our solar system. And while we can't get any details of it, we can't go get samples of it. It is a piece of a, of a material that is from outside our solar system. So that was our picture of the day for March 5th of 2022. It was titled Interstellar Comet 2i Borisov. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be triple sun holes. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.